Hi there, in this first video, looking at our lesson on introductory fiscal policy, we're just going to start by taking a quick overview of the various types of macroeconomic policy that you'll need for your A-level economics. So let's start by thinking about what the whole point of macro policy is and, and its general purpose. Generally, macroeconomic policy is designed to help governments achieve their macroeconomic objectives. Your first thinking task is to think about what those objectives might be. Just take a minute or so to pause the video, jot down the key macroeconomic objectives, then restart the video when you're finished to check your answers. Let's take a look at the main macro objective. So the first one that's appeared on the screen there is steady economic growth. In other words, we're looking for an increase in real GDP, low unemployment, stable prices, which we can also express as low inflation. Remember in the UK, we are looking for an inflation rate of around 2%, that is the official target. And we're looking for a balance on the balance of payments. So not, uh, not too much imbalance between the current account and the financial account, which are two of the main accounts on the overall balance of payments. And then within the current account itself, one of the sub accounts on the current account is the trade balance. And we want a general sort of balance between the value of exports and imports if we can. So those are the four main macroeconomic objectives. But most governments now, um, particularly in developed economies, tend to think about another three in addition. These are protecting the environment and thinking about sustainability, equal distribution of income, and also possibly wealth. And finally, having a balanced budget. In other words, government spending in a year equaling the tax revenue in a year. So all of macroeconomic policy is designed to help achieve one or more of those objectives. So what are the various categories of macro policy that you need to know about? Fiscal policy, monetary policy, and supply side policy. In the this online lesson, we're going to be looking really just at fiscal policy, but it's definitely worth seeing how it fits in and complements the other types. Let's just take a quick look at what these types are. So fiscal policy, in this case, we're looking at any policy relating to government spending, tax and borrowing. It is led by the government. Monetary policy is any policy relating to interest rates, the money supply and or managing the economy's exchange rate. This is usually led by the central bank of a country. In some cases, the central bank takes quite clear instructions from the government about what its policy should be. In the UK, we have a independent central bank. The Bank of England is independent of the UK government and it has been since 1997. So that means that the central bank makes its decisions about policy independently of the government. Finally, supply side policy is any policy that is intended to increase the productive potential of the economy. In other words, shifting long run aggregate supply to the right. Effectively, this is the same thing as anything that would cause a um, an economy's production possibility curve to shift to the right. To do this, one way of thinking about it is looking at increasing the quantity and or quality of an economy's factors of production. There are effectively two broad categories of supply side policy. These are free market, where the government really takes the reins off the rules and regulations in an economy, or interventionist policies where the government actively intervenes and usually spends money to improve the economy's long run aggregate supply. So just a quick activity to start with. On the screen there for you, there are 12 different policies. Your task is to categorize each of them as a fiscal policy, a monetary policy or a supply side policy. Something to bear in mind is that some fiscal policies in particular could also have an impact on long run aggregate supply. So in other words, some policies on the screen are what we call fiscal supply side policies. So this might take you two or three minutes. Just work your way methodically through each one and then check your answers against ours when you're finished. So pause the video now and then restart when you are ready. 
OK, let's take a look at our suggested answers, which are there on the screen uh, for you. Just take a moment to pause the video and check your answers against ours. Any that you're not sure about, do check with your teacher.